Hey, fellas, what's going on here? What's going on? Cha-cha-cha-cha. Why, Jimmy, what brought you here back here from Hollywood? Listen, Paul, I want you to play my masterpiece. Your what? My symphony. You know, it goes like this. Uh, in, get in, get in, get in, get in. It's gigantic. The greatest modern composition of all times. Well, I'd like to oblige you, Jimmy, but there's nothing to your rinky-dinky-doo number. It doesn't mean a thing. Why, I'm mortified. It's a classic. A masterpiece. Let me show you how it goes. Hey, Paul, bring me over a piano and I'll play the first few bars. That's swell, but we have no arrangement for it. What do you need arrangements for? This ain't no wedding. <laughs> Why, we'll make it up on the spot. And you know... Wait a I... minute, Jimmy. Wait a minute, Jimmy. The music business has changed since you led a band. Today, an orchestra of 40 men like mine can't fake and get away with it. They've got to know what they're playing. Eh, hey, Dean? Oh, yes. Otherwise, as a result of combining so many uh, heterogeneous sonorities, you get an effect of involuntary polytonality that is nothing short of ridiculous. Say, who is this guy? What does he know about music? Why, Jimmy, this is Deems Taylor. Last Tuesday night, his work was acclaimed at the Metropolitan. I get it. A life insurance man. <laughs> I got a million of them. <laughs> Well, I'll show them. Come on, boys. We'll make the arrangement. As we go along. Come on, fiddles. Follow me. <laughs> High class. <laughs> now, saxophones, play the counter melody right along with me. Arrangements. <laughs> we'll show them. <laughs> I forgot the brass section. Forgive me, fellas. Follow me. Just follow me. It's dynamite. Now, if we can make these three things fit, we'll have control of this situation. We'll defy the mess. Okay, let's go. of providence. Now we'll start the symphony. Very mysterious.
Who is this guy, Beethoven? In case any of you think that really was Jimmy Durante, I'd better explain that it was Arthur Boran ruining a fine, natural speaking voice. Uh, now we are going to sing you a song entitled Turn Back the Clock. It's not new, but it's good. Uh, when I say we are going to sing it, I mean, of course, myself and Ramona. Uh, I provide the artistic conception and the expression with which the song is sung, and she attends to the detail of the actual singing. <laughs> Uh, in this, she will be assisted by Quig, who beats the percussion instruments in this band with such telling effect. I'm sorry television is still in its pre-infancy state, for to appreciate this act, you ought to see it. Uh, between them, Ramona and Quig will play, will sing, and will play the piano, the celesta, the toy bells, and the Chinese woodblocks. It's a very pretty effect. They do it on bicycles. <laughs> Should we say goodnight? I think it would be quite the proper thing to do If we should say hello As if the night were new Turn back the clock Say, wouldn't it be great If it were only eight Instead of after two Oh, how I hate to go I'm so in love with you If we could make the time stand still Imagine what a grand, glorious thrill A single kiss would last Until the day Gabriel blows his horn So turn back the clock Let's continue on Until the night is gone When we see the dawn Then hickory dickory dock We'll turn back the clock 